Oh no, look at this one. Ooh. Oh no, Lou, what do we do? Welcome to vlog 24. This one is all about Guadeloupe. Um, and yeah, that wave that you just saw was us leaving Ile de la Petite Terre and we, oh, we timed it so badly. So bad. oh, and uh, yeah, anyway, you'd have thought we would know how to get out through the surf with all the surfing we've done, but, but no, we timed it really badly, but we managed to get out without mm. too much trouble. Um, yeah, so, th so that was Ile de la Petite Terre, which was just an amazing place. Oh yeah, it's definitely one of the best places we've been to so far. It's a marine reserve and a no-take no -take zone, so as a team and wildlife we saw some really, really great stuff, so um, we're going to yeah. share that with you. Yeah, we also got a lovely heartwarming story about how we got our chain plate fixed. We were let down by a manufacturer here in Guadeloupe and we ended up getting helped out by a chap in Canada, which was uh, uh, incredible. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that story with you. Yeah. Um, we also get to explore the Cousteau Marine Reserve, which is on the west coast then, uh, which is fantastic for free diving mm -hmm. and a friend's visit too. Yeah, Yatsk and Paul from Pembrokeshire, they finally made it out to see us. So um, we were able to do some very cool sailing because they're really into sailing as well and uh, snorkeling and exploring of the island. So uh, yeah, we kind of went up north and explored the forest a bit and on the inland and then uh, down south to the islands of Le, Le Saints. So, uh, yeah, so it's all about Guadeloupe. I hope you enjoy if you're planning a trip to the island, this should give you some pointers of um, some fun things to do because it's amazing.
pretty nice, isn't it? While we were on Ile de la Petite Terre, we thought that our new chain plate was being made. Um, but when we got back into Signal, we found out that they decided not to make it, that they couldn't make it after all. So it was a real disappointment and set us back. Um, so I put a post on a, on a Facebook group called Liverboard Lifestyle, um, just to see if there, anyone else knew of anyone that might be able to help us to make this very bespoke stainless steel uh, bobstay chain plate. And uh, there's a chap called Brian got in touch and said, look, uh, send me the design as I used to do a lot of welding and I can just make sure that it looks like a good design. And so I did my best technical drawing since I left school, I think, and uh, sent it through to him. And when he had a look at the drawing, he said, actually, it looks really, really simple. And I should be able to make that for you um, here in Canada and just send it through. So, so I was like, wow, definitely, that sounds amazing. So, and incredibly, he offered to do this for us um, in his own time at cost price, just for the cost of the materials. And I was just blown away by, by the kindness of this gesture. Um, Brian just said, Look, you know, the world needs more kindness in it. And um, what a wonderful thing, you know, just really, really sorted us out. So we pick, pick up the story here where we are in St. Francois. We're not prepared to go sailing anymore because of our scare. Uh, Ile de la Petite Terre, we, we decided not to move much at all and just wait patiently for this part to arrive. So we're in, where are we? Saint Francois. Saint Francois. Saint Francois. Saint Fran we're in Saint Francois in Guadeloupe and Guadeloupe. I said that. And it's not, no, I haven't really yet. Do you want to see the cake? Luke made a really nice plantain. Is it plantain? Banana. Yeah, it's a variation on a banana bread. It's uh, made with ripe, very ripe plantains, which are just like bananas, really, but and a bit more like, I don't know, somehow a bit stiffer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I put chocolate in it as well. Vegan banana bread, vegan plantain bread with chocolate. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we're going for a swim while Lou is. Oh, you're not coming. I'm not, I haven't got much to go. Let's <laughs> I've got my swim on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going out. So this is what St. Francois looks like. It's a very busy anchorage, but it's very handy because just around there is town. Um, just around the other side of that wall, you can. Uh, we've been using the kayak to go in. And you can get everything you need in town, but as you can see, it's pretty busy. And it's laundry day today. We washed our sheets. Which is quite an epic thing to do because you have to go into the laundrette, like wash it, blah blah blah, go in, blah, blah. it takes it takes hours, doesn't it? It's like a twenty minute walk to the laundrette. Yeah, wasn't much fun. But, uh, but it's a good place for us to be waiting, you know, we've just gotta hang out. I'm not happy sailing with um, a broken boat, you know, with a broken chain chain plate. And um, so we're just being patient waiting until waiting until it's done. Hi Tom, hi Lou, it's Brian here from uh, Canada. I'm just out working in the shop, uh, making good progress. We got the uh, the plates drilled out. Stainless is pretty uh, tough material to drill, but uh, got it drilled out. Got the material polished up. Just working on the, uh, the lug, as, uh, as I call it, the construction terms. This is my dad's uh, my dad's old drill press here. The uh, the wheel is off uh, a 1965 Austin Somerset from your home country. Anyways, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, I'll keep working away here, and uh, I'll send you some pictures uh, once we get closer to finishing. Hope you're enjoying the warm weather. Colton is uh, making the mixture right now with uh, citric acid. 
to passivate the stainless. We will be heating the, uh, the water up uh, to about uh, 70 degrees uh, Celsius for optimum chemical reaction. Late at night, late at night. So we opened our box this morning, <laughs> we've got our piece. So excited to get this on the boat. Thanks so much for making it. Amazing. Um, uh, yeah, this will mean that we can carry on with our sailing adventures um, and our dreams. So thank you so much for doing this. And uh, we, yeah, basically we couldn't get it done locally here. Um, and we've saved our bacon and, get, and we'll get our boat fixed. And yeah, we'll let you know how we go. Thanks again, thank amazing. You. And thanks to Colton <laughs> as well. All right, take care. All the best, bye. She's on the land. We made it. <laughs> Got our ladder. <laughs> so hopefully it would just be two days. Famous yeah. last words. Last time we were like, oh, it would just be a couple of weeks. We were end up being three months, didn't we? Oh God, let's not see <laughs> <it's been. laughs> Hello. 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 So we're out, and yeah, we've got uh, electricity plugged in. We've got the ladder on, and so now we can start the job. So let's go and have a look from the inside. It's looking a bit of a mess. Um, I've just started with the chaos, get the bed out, put all the stuff to one side. It's going to be chaos for a few days. And yeah, this is what I'm looking at from the inside. It's a bit of a mess. So behind here, there's two bolts, I think, which has uh, all been sort of fiberglassed and masticed over. And I'm imagining this little leak here is coming in through those holes because they've been bent when the uh, chain plate broke. So we need to stop this little minor leak and yeah probably cut out this whole bit of uh, fiberglass so that we can get to the bolts and put on this backing plate. Long bolt. <laughs> yeah. Look at the state of that. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's really rather thin. Wow. And this end. Mm hmm. Gosh, that Dairy. was going to go in so many different ways. Wow. That's, um, yeah, quite <laughs> corroded. Yeah, look at that. Honestly, yeah, like, I'm a bit... <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm a bit embarrassed, because... <laughs> but then we're rookies, you know, we're still new at this, and... Um, yeah. This is, you know, this is a chain plate. It should be flat, and um, this should not be, like, looking like that. No. I don't know how long it's been like this, honestly, but I should have noticed this way, way earlier than this, so it's a lesson for me. Yeah. You know, it won't happen again. <laughs> it won't happen again. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> You're very bad. A little bit different there. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like, with my underwater measurements, that it's going to be a really good fit. So, that's good news. Yeah, good one. Good one, Brian. It's been a lot of preparation work, but we've got this motor flat. And you can see that that goes on there beautifully. So, next stage is, there isn't a bolt long enough, so to buy... They don't make bolts long enough, so I had to buy some, some thread. Mm -hmm. So that's going to go all the way through there and then have a uh, nylock nut on either end and a big washer on the big uh, plate on the back and um, I'm going to fill the hole as I go with this uh, marine adhesive 291i 
some stuff. Good, yeah. Might just need to chop this off a bit more, but it's pretty good. So, we've got our new uh, wire mm -hmm. all made up, and um, it's a moment of truth. Yeah, then we just need to tighten it up. Some days things don't go so well at the end of the day. Like, uh, I have to pay 50 euros deposit for a key to the marina and 75 euros deposit to keep the area clean around your boat. And I was just cleaning up the area. I got a handful of old broken bits of chain. Came over to this uh, metal skip, which I'm sitting in. And I threw the, threw the key in here along with the bits of metal. So it's gone. I mean, literally, but when you're we're rifling through all this shit you realize that this is the community that we're part of you know the difficult unseen part of the community is this is supposed to be recycling in here and look at this look at this absolute pile of shit glass no one's recycled they didn't recycle the cans plastic this is supposed to be metal recycling anyway so i've recycled my 50 euro key and i don't I've, we're launching right now literally they're lifting our boat so i haven't got time to look so that's the end of that 50 euros not a very satisfying use of that money. We're sailing. Sailing straight out into 20 knots of winds. Got the general for the first time in three, no, two and a half months. So it uh, seems to be working, which is good. Yeah.
camped out. It's really cool. Oh, they're coming right over. Yeah, they're getting, collecting twigs, aren't they, to go and make nests. But those are the small, the small egrets. So. So, time to say goodbye to Guadeloupe. Um, yeah, this is De uh, where um, where Death, Death in Paradise is filmed. Um, we haven't seen a single series of it, but very <laughs> popular in the UK apparently. <laughs> We've yeah. actually been enjoying this anchorage. We just went in and got our antigen test done yesterday, and we're up early this morning to try and get to Antigua before our time runs out. We have 48 hours to get there before the antigen runs out. But yeah, thank you. It's been amazing. We had Ile de Petit Terre fixing the chain plate and then time with our friends exploring. It's been incredible, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks very much for watching and mm -hmm. hit the like and subscribe button if you uh, want to see what we get up to in Antigua mm -hmm. and Barbuda. I'm coming and, in as well. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> with my rainy glasses. Bye. <laughs> see you next time.